All right, well, we made it to another weekend. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for watching the channel this week, and I hope you have a good weekend planned. So I wanted to just say this. Uh, this week has been quite a, uh, a good week as far as sales for the 80 Robles Media exclusive. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But anyway, social justice Pharisees, woke church tactics, and how to engage them. We had more sales this week than we've had since I think the first couple weeks the book was available. So thank you very much if you purchased a copy. We definitely have plenty more on on uh, site, in stock, and ready to ship out. So if you're interested, you can go to the website, adrobles.com, or you can email me if you want a copy, ad at adrobles.com, to get your copy. The price of silver has gone down, uh, surprisingly. Well, actually, not that surprisingly, but um, the price of silver has gone down. So if you want to buy books for silver, you can get a really good deal right now. Um, you know, if you don't want to part with your silver, I don't blame you because I want the silver. So, you know, I get it. But anyway, um, I wanted to talk about oh, one quick thing. I shared on Gab something that I saw Andrew Torba share that I thought was excellent. And it's actually been so what's amazing about this, it's called mass psychosis, how an entire population becomes mentally ill. And this was posted a few days ago. And it's so providential. Oh, wow. I don't know why I'm seeing a naked dude there. Um, it was posted just a few days ago and providentially it's talking about the very same things I've been talking about all week. So go ahead and check it out. It's called mass this after school school presentation. presentation. Oh, hold on mass psychosis, how an entire population becomes mentally ill guys. This is so good. I definitely think you should watch it, but related to that note, I actually had a comment that on the, on the reformed Jellicle show last night that I missed and the brother messaged it to me and emailed it to me. Uh, again, because he wanted to make sure I saw it. And I thought it was really well said. I'm not going to cite you because I don't know if you want to necessarily be cited. Um, I don't know. But if you want to out yourself in the comments, go right ahead. Um, brother, I thought this was very, very astute. We were talking last night about just sort of the mass sort of delusions that everybody believes. You know, we talked a little bit about COVID. We talked a little bit about the vaccines and stuff like that. But we were we we'd referenced that video that has been out for a very long time where Joe Biden pinches the nipple of an eight-year-old, a little girl. He, he gropes her on video, on C-SPAN. He gropes her, then pinches her nipple, and everyone didn't believe it. They're like, oh, that, that he wasn't doing it. It just must be the camera angle. And it's like, he obviously did do it. And anyway, the reason why this came back up into the news is because the girl, she's now grown up, and she has a Twitter account, she said, yeah, he did do that. And like nobody, still nobody cares. Nobody's going to do anything about it. You know, Joe Biden is probably a Pete pedo, but whatever. Nobody's going to do anything about it. And we were kind of kicking around why that was. And I thought this was such an astute comment. I'm going to read it and, uh, and then I'll, we'll comment on it in a second. He says this, everyone needs to understand the following. Oh, let me stop. Let me stop. This brother came to faith just recently, maybe three years ago. And he's an adult, and he was an adult as a pagan. Like he, he, he says here that he was so pagan that he didn't even know the song Amazing Grace was about grace. He thought it was about a woman named Grace. So that's how pagan he says he was. So he kind of remembers his life as a pagan very clearly. Anyway, listen, listen to what he says. I thought this was so astute. He says, everyone needs to understand the following. The reason people, and especially Christians, didn't accept Biden, Biden's little girl fetish after seeing it, and the reason why Christians don't understand evil in general is because they've only internalized half of Christianity. They've only absorbed the love and the grace, but they have not understood total depravity. You remember that joke, quote, are you telling me that people would just go on the internet and lie? Christians don't understand that is how people with that 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 is how people without Christ are. They haven't read their whole Bible. They haven't internalized what evil is, and they take everyone at their word, both in real life and on the internet. And that's why they simply do not understand that pagans and Democrats will just lie all the time. They can't conceive of people acting like that because they're comparing their actions to how we act. Thus. Even though the communists literally tell us that they are attempting to achieve their goals by any means necessary, Christians think, oh, well, they don't mean it. I mean, that must just, they're just using hyperbole for effect. No, they mean it. 
Pe- people don't understand words anymore. They're just reading their false understanding of humanity, which is all about love and grace, into everyone, which is why they're so blind. They don't understand the Bible, therefore they don't understand man. And so this is very interesting, and I, I think this is very well said, because here's what often happens. I agree, and I'm not exempting myself from this. I do this. Because uh, he, he, he gives a great example. He says, people will say we need to accomplish this, this, this communist takeover by any means necessary. Everyone hears that, and I don't mean everyone, but I, I'll, I'll speak for myself. I hear that, and my mind autocorrects it. It's like, oh, they mean by any means necessary except like killing and like you know force they just mean like you know by like politics and you know stuff like voting like that's what they mean no they didn't say that they said by any means necessary and then also simultaneously to this while they're saying this they're torching up neighborhoods they're killing people they're beating people to a pulp and all that kind of stuff And it's like why did my brain autocorrect that right like because i'm thinking as a christian i'm thinking as someone who doesn't think in these terms and i'm like like how, I can't fathom he actually means by any means necessary. Because if I were to say by any means necessary, obviously I would be exempting killing, beating people up, and stuff like that. But but the pagans aren't doing that. They're, they're actually telling you what they're doing. But they also simultaneously will lie about it as well. They'll say that... Um, that then that they're not mar- Marxists or not communists, even as they're teaching Marxism and communism, and it's like our minds our minds autocorrect it, and they're like, well, they must not know that it comes from Marxism, right? Like 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 even the run of the mill social justice warrior out there. Well, I'm not a Marxist. How dare you call me a Marxist? As they're teaching that the evidence of injustice is that people don't have all the same stuff and all the same wealth, and it's like that's Marxism though. So he must not get it. He must not. No 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 no. He gets it. He's just freaking lying. That's he's a snake. That's what's going on here. And it's like so so this is this is something that you need to identify if this is true about yourself because I think it's true about me. I autocorrect things. I give a lot of uh, of of, uh, of it's not even grace. It's I I'm naive sometimes to some of this stuff where it's like Oh, he just must not know. I mean, he doesn't claim to be a Marxist, so he must not know what he's teaching is Marxism. You know, I I think it's worth noting that about yourself and realizing that that's not necessarily a strength, guys. Like, yes, love believes all things, but love is also not naive. It doesn't believe untruths. And so when somebody tells you we need to accomplish our goals by any means necessary, and then you see them burning down neighborhoods, killing people, shooting cops, beating up white guys like it's hot, like like hot cakes, or black guys, it doesn't matter as long as they stand in their way. When you see them doing that, take them at their word, right? Take them at their word. They mean it. And don't autocorrect it. Don't let your brain autocorrect it to mean something nicer. They're, they don't mean something nicer a lot of the time. And even if they did, those exceptions would actually uh, would actually prove the rule. You see what I'm trying to say? And, and as Christians, you know, we, we should understand this because think about it this way, right? Like, like obviously pagans lie all the time and we don't have to even know about each individual lie to know this because they lie about the most obvious fact in the history of anything. They lie that, they're, that, God, that God is there. They lie that God is there and God hasn't, they say he's not there or he hasn't spoken. That, that's what they say. They say he's either not there or that he hasn't spoken about all the injustice and the oppression and all this kind of stuff. And so so they're lying about the most obvious fact ever. They're lying to themselves every day. Why wouldn't they lie about the smaller things, at least relatively speaking? Uh, I thought that was very astute, and I wanted to just share that with you. I hope you have a great weekend. God bless.